This guide will hopefully show you some basic steps on how to set up a troll on Hikvision BTZ. I'll be showing you how to do this through a web browser, as this gives you flexibility to set this up remotely. The first step is to log into your DVR or MVR, or in the case of the standalone IP PTZ camera, which you log in directly to the camera. If you're logged into the MVR DVR, then make sure you select the PTZ camera to view. I prefer to use the web browser, but it's possible to do this at the recorder directly. The basic steps to setting up the patrol requires you to first set the preset positions that the patrol will cover. Choose your points of interest to use as your key points and set these as numbered presets. You do this by clicking the cog over on the right hand side next to the preset number. For this demo we're just going to set up a few simple presets, five. You can have up to 32 presets per patrol, but uh, we're going to keep it simple. So all we do is move, around, move the PTZ to a position and click the cog next to the preset that you want this number to be. Continue until all your key, set, key points have been covered by presets. For this particular demo, um, we just got the PTZ set up in a small room at the moment, so uh, the object is a bit too close, a little bit too close for the PTZ probably to focus on some of it properly. I'll point it out the window and uh, we'll probably be able to focus a little bit better down there. So this five mile an hour sign is the preset number five. I'm just going to quickly show you as well, on top of the uh, optical zoom, we've also got digital zoom. So once you've uh, sort of zoomed in using the PTZ, you can actually digitally enhance it as well to zoom in a little bit further. So now we've got the preset set, we can go back to preset position number one by pressing the call button. We can now set up the patrol. So click on the patrol tab and you've got a little cog again. The cog is basically so you can configure your patrol and you can add steps. So first one, preset number one, set, set a speed of 30. I think this one goes up to speed of 40, maximum speed. And time of 15 seconds. 15 seconds on this particular piece. PTZ is the minimum amount of time that um, it'll, set, it'll sit in each preset position for the patrol. Some PTZs have different timings, so you might have one second, for example. But we'll stick with the minimum on this. I'm just going to adjust a couple of the speeds just to show you the difference. And then we'll, we can just test this patrol by clicking the play button. So, as the uh, patrol sort of uh, step said, it was going to sit in each preset position for 15 seconds before moving to the next. So it'll sit in preset one, and then we've set it to move to number five. After this, it's done the zoom function part first, and now it's moving to position number five. I did set this speed a bit lower at 10 rather than 30. But yeah, as you can see, it's moving to preset position number five now. And then from there, it'll go to preset position number four after sitting there for 15 seconds. So I'll let this one sit 15 seconds. Now it's a bit faster. And 
and then we arrive at preset position number four. After this, I move to three, then two, then back to one, and continue. But uh, I'm going to speed this up a little bit. So we've got the the patrol set. It's going around the uh, preset positions in the order that we set. Uh, but then, if anybody interrupts that patrol by moving the PTZ, it's going to stop. So what we need to do is set a park position up. Um, it's actually a park function. So we're going to set the park function up as patrol number one. To do this, we uh, use the on-screen display. Uh, by default, this is preset number 95 on the Hike Vision or Hick Vision PTZ. So you go down to preset number 95, call that function, and it'll bring up the on-screen display menu. We can go through the on-screen display menu, set the park time and the park type. Yeah, well, the park type is set as patrol number one. So now, after five seconds of leaving the PTZ alone, if you've been manually moving it around, after five seconds it will start doing patrol number one again. Uh, I'm just going to adjust a little bit of the speed because I deliberately set it a bit slow just to show you the difference. I'll put this back up probably to 40, which would be the maximum. This menu is a little bit sort of clunky, it's, uh, but it, it does the job. These kind of menus are also found on the Turbo BTZ as well as the IP ones. The IP one uh, gives you the extra option of actually going into the web browser configuration and you can set up uh, different timings and settings within the PTZ rather than going through this clunky menu if you wish. So now it should move to from 1 to 5 much faster. That's the maximum speed there, speed 40 on this one. And then from there, obviously, I'll continue again. Go to position number 4, 3, 2, 1, and then continue going round and round. Uh, you can set up quite a complicated set of presets. Like I say, you can have up to 32 per patrol. Uh, and you can have four patrols on this particular PTZ as well. Uh, some of the other ones allow you up to eight patrols, each with 32 presets. So there's quite a lot you can do. Uh, you can also ha have them set for different time periods and things, schedules. Yeah, that's that's the basic steps covered. Thanks for watching.